Hey guys, this is Candle, and welcome back to Illusion of Gaia. When we last left off, we made it to the Sky Dun- or the Sky Garden, I was gonna say Sky Dungeon. And now, we are trying to figure out what we need to do, and, uh, which one of you told me which way to go? Clockwise order. Honestly, I don't think it really matters which way we start, but we'll start over here. We'll- we'll go through this entire place eventually. But yes, this is a very interesting dungeon where, you know, they mentioned, you know, uh, going back and forth, you know, falling off the side. You have to go through the underside as well. That's what that is there. That's a bridge that's on the underside of uh, this dungeon. There we go. Ow. Gotta be careful. Because these guys can hurt you. There we go. Good, good, good. Alright. Ow, damn it. Come on. There we go. Gotcha. Alright, what about you? Can I kill you now? Yes, good. Alright, so there's supposed to be two treasure chests in here with the, the red jewels that we're looking for. Jewels 18 and 19. Alright. So far, I think we're doing pretty good. We're not having too much trouble here. We do want to make sure that we get everybody. We've got three chests and six enemies still to go in this room. Uh, scratch that, make that four enemies. There we go. Make that two enemies. All right, we had we do have a chest here where we found a red jewel, so there's one of the two we were we needed. Let's go ahead and use that. Thank you very much. All right, and here's where things flip around because now we're on the back of the garden. Yeah, gravity is localized to the uh, internal space. Oh, we're gonna die soon. There we go. Come on. Trying to go right between the center. Oh, they cross over. Well, at least that healed up a little bit. All right, uh, here we've got nine enemies, no treasure chests on this side of the, uh, the garden, at least in this area. Now. There we go. Made it through there. You get back here. Thank you. Oh, we're so about to die again. Now yeah, we're doing okay, though. I right, gotta be careful. There we go. Thank you. Oh, ow, 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 ow. ow. Almost dead. But so far, we're doing okay. Or do I want to go that way, or do I want to go down here? Let's go down here. Come on, there we go. Thank you, and that will heal us up a bit. All right, so that's a dead end. That's fine. Over here, we've got more of these bigger ball worms. There we go, that's all the enemies on this side. So, our defense has increased. The question is, where are we going? Okay, that's where we can drop off and flip back over. But there's more that we missed. There's an area we hadn't been to up over this way. Where does this take us? Uh, another place we can drop off and flip over. Wait, no, this is where we came in. Yeah, this is where we came in. We literally just kind of went in a circle there. All right. Well, let's go back down here then. Because you kind of have to go back and forth between the two sides. The underside and the top. So back to the top side of the Sky Garden. And... Oh, shoot. I remember you. I don't think... Oh, there we go. Oh, that works. Okay, so we got... 
We found the crystal ball. So this is one of them. I think there's supposed to be four of them that we need. Or could that be wrong? Uh, crystal ball fits in crystal tile, so yeah. Ah, good, I can move you. I wasn't sure about that. There we go. So that's all that's over here. There's one enemy we're missing. Huh. And we have to go back the long way, it looks like. The good news is there is a bit of a shortcut back to the other side over here. Although... I kind of want to go the long way around just to make sure I didn't miss anywhere else that we could drop off. Like here. I missed that earlier. So this is the third chest and the remaining enemy. There we go, where we get a health increase, which I think heals us all the way up. Yes. And we found an herb. Okay, let's go ahead and move you down here. Perfect. That's everything we needed from this section of the garden. We've got three more to go through. And they're just going to get more complex after this. All right, drop back off. Flip to the other side. And then back here. Oh, how much fur how far away was it? There was no shortcut? Weird. Okay. No shortcut to get back to the center. But what we can do is this. Crystal ball is set in the hole, so that moves one of these platforms in place. You gotta move all four in place, and then that will open the way to the boss. Alright, so next one. Right, we've got 13 enemies and zero treasure chests. Okay, I'm gonna deal with you real quick. Yes. Alright, let's go down here. We're gonna sidle along here. And up we go. There we go, good. Now I gotta deal with you. Perfect. All right, this isn't a very difficult game if I do, uh, remember correctly. At least it's not very difficult except for the bosses sometimes. Okay, one more should do it. There we go. All right, let's get you out of the way here. Because we're going to need to run. All right, just making sure we're good. Run across. All right. Made it all the way over. Now, what about you? Come on. There we go. All right, let's get you out of the way here. Oh, we have a dark space in here where we can switch to Freedon. That will make quicker work of the uh, enemies, of the monsters. All right. I don't think we need really need to heal right now. But at least we found another dark space. There we go. So do these things not count? Because you re- yeah, they don't count. Okay. I was going to say, because you respawn there. There we go. Alright, you gotta drop off the other side to get around. So Frieden's on the back of the garden now. Oh, hello. Ow. Come on, I gotta do that one more time. There we go. Now you're dealt with. Deal with you, and... Oh, we gotta flip back over again. Okay. Yeah, you pretty much need free then here if you're planning on destroying all of the monsters. Which is always a good idea to do. 
There we go. Actually, you do need three then here to continue then. And that's all the monsters on this side, so our strength has increased. Yeah, without Frieden, you wouldn't be able to get past this, because uh, killing that monster in the centers would open that up. Alright, it's so the back of the garden now. Left or right? Let's go left. Thank you. Ow. Alright, we're good on this side. Now let's go right. Yeah, since we're technically upside down, I do love the fact that, you know, you can see the clouds uh, above. Technically, they're below us right now, but, you know, even more technically, they're above us, because we're upside down. Oh, I gotta get on the other side here. There we go. So that gets us more health and opens this up. Not good. Ow. But this gets us the next crystal ball. So now we get to go all the way back. We have to switch to Will, don't we, to go back. Pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we're going to have to switch to Will in order to sidle along on, uh, on the other reverse side of that island. Well, only one way to find out. See, I do also like the fact that you can see the Nazca lines uh, directly below us here, too. And you get a better picture of them. Since you're higher up. Alright, gotta flip, flip, flip. Gotta flip it and reverse it. Alright, so here's the question. Frieden can obviously make this jump, but can he make it all the way around? Well, he can go down there. Oh, no, he can sidle along here, too. Great. I wasn't sure he could do uh, go along that ledge. I thought we were going to have to switch back to Will. All right. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and use that crystal ball. And now it's time for the third section. Where things get a little bit more complicated. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so that opened that up uh, that way, but... Uh, let's go down here first. Uh, we need Will for this. Yeah, Frieden can't get past those statues. And as a matter of fact, we can't really progress any further on this side, so we're going to have to flip over to the back of the garden. And that, yeah, inverts the, the uh, some of these pillars. All right, let's get you first. We found the second red jewel. There we go. All right, so that is all the jewels in the uh, Sky Garden. Uh, we've got seven enemies to deal with. Okay, you're blocked, but if we flip you... Okay, that locks us in here. And yeah, we can't do anything on this side. So let's block you and then flip you again. Did that switch the one down here? No, it did not, so we got to go back to the other side. And you'll find that those uh, pillars have changed here as well. Specifically over here. There we go. And that gives us some stairs up here to deal with these guys. Thank you. All right. Good on this. Oh, that's going to open that up. So that's that central path again. We want to go over here. There we go. Ow. Good. So that's the last enemy on this side. Okay. 
So what's up here? Ah, we've got a dark space, but we can't get to it from here. What's down this way? A treasure chest that we also cannot get to because we can't run up this. And that is in the middle of the path, too. And the, oh, okay, we need Will for this. But we can't do anything about it here. So... We need to just flip over to the other side again. To the back of the garden. Uh, oh, oh, I know what we were supposed to do here. Because if you do this, you end up trapped. What you're supposed to do is use Frieden's attack, his, his long attack. Right? Did I not have it lined up right? There we go, I didn't have it lined up right. So now we can flip back over, we can access that dark space, and get to Will. Alright, flip him back to Will. We need him for this next section. All right, so we got to go down here and across again. That's blocking the path, but we can go this way to get up here deal with you guys We may have to destroy them again Because we're not ready yet to, to make the run, but that's fine. Sometimes those things uh, respawn. Sometimes they don't We'll see uh, Seven enemies. There's enemies over this way. What's up here first? Okay, that's blocked off so I guess we're going this way. Uh, that is also blocked off, so we're going north. Ow! Come on. There we go. You're dealt with. And now all of this is open. But that is fine. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm like, we're gonna have to tank a hit there. We can go this way. There we go. Alright, that's blocked off. Uh, what about down here? Okay, I can deal with you. When you step on this tile, it makes a sound, so we need something heavier. We need one of these guys. Come on. There we go. And now we can just bring you across. Yes, I know. Set you right there. And that flips those pistons exactly the way we needed it to. Ow. Ah, damn it. There we go. Got some health back that way, too. Good. And that improves our strength. Strength is increased, no items. All right, so where's the way out again? It's not up here, is it? No. Uh, it's back down this way. Ow! Damn it, stop that. All right, we wanna flip here. Do I need to, yeah, I need to destroy these things again. That's fine. There we go. All right, run, run. Oh, I didn't have it lined up right. Let's try this again. Run, 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 run. There we go. And in this treasure chest is the crystal ball. So that is three down, one to go. We just need to get out of here. Where was the way out again? It's up this way, I think, somewhere. Just can't quite remember exactly where. Uh, over here. And up. Yes, that is the way out. Alright, so let's go ahead and use... There we go. And we're gonna heal up real quick at, the, uh, at this dark space. 
There we go, let's go ahead and record. And continue. And let's go get the fourth and final crystal ball. Uh, two treasure chests, 15 enemies. It's interesting how the uh, more dangerous enemies are all on the back side of the garden. Stronger, more dangerous. Is it because it's in the dark? I wonder. Whereas this is all in the light. Ah, damn it. I know what you gotta do. You gotta hold up. There we go. There we go. Oh, I could just barely reach you. But I don't think I can reach you now. Oh, nope, you came back. Good. Now you're dead. All right, we'll have to flip there. But first... This could be a bad idea. Ow. Damn it. That hurt. All right, what's down here? We can flip. We're gonna have to flip because we can't get uh, can't get out of here now. But that's fine. We'll just flip here. Deal with all of you. These things. I think the reason why the the individual segment pattern falling is different is because um, because we're upside down. Because otherwise, I think they're exactly the same enemy. But it's more randomized. Oh, shoot. I didn't quite mean to do that, but that's fine. We'll flip here again. Okay, so that gets us back here. So if we go across again... So that gets us back to the entrance, doesn't it? Yeah, this is the entrance. That's fine. So that means you need to... Go across this way and then hold left in order to not run all the way down and across. And there's more we need to do down here. Mostly we need to go down this way. Come on. There we go. Gotcha. All right, we can drop over there, but first... I kind of want to deal with all of this. There we go. Alright, there's nothing else on this side. So we're good to flip over here. More of those inchworms. Alright, we got a chest there, but we can't get to it from here. Same with you. Hmm. What do I do with you? I can't get a, I can't get to either of those from here. Because those are our platforms you have to drop down. Right? Pretty sure. Okay, how do I... Can I get you... Can I trigger you this way? No, because we can't get through here. I need Freedon. I can't get any further here without Freedon. Can I? I don't think I can. Because again, you can't you can't climb up this. You can only drop down from it. And the same there. So how do I get to you? Huh. Alright, so back of the garden. And there's nothing down here, right? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't... Did I miss a dark space somewhere to swap back? Or was I supposed to swap back before leaving the, uh, the third area? Yeah, because this just lets me go back. Oh, hello. I hadn't been through here. Or at least not fully. Yeah, I had not been through there. 
Okay. No, come back this way. I need to kill you. Ow. Hopefully before you kill me. All right, we've got one of those roaming balls of light here. Two of them, actually. But there's also a dark space here, so... Where this will let us switch back to Frieden. There we go. I was gonna say, it didn't quite make sense to me that I was gonna have to go all the way back to the third area to swap to Frieden. Usually it lets you, you know, it gives you the opportunity to swap whenever you need to. And by that I don't mean like you can just swap whenever and wherever you want, but that, you know, usually when you need to swap you'll find yourself near a dark space. That will afford you the, be the ability to swap. I should have healed up when I was talking to Gaia. Oh well. Alright, that activated you. Alright, now bring you over here. There we go, that gets rid of that, which opens this up. Ow. Oh, ow. I am so about to die. There we go. At least we got our health pickup. Yeah, defense has increased. Ah, damn it. Alright, so we flip over here, I guess. Sky Garden. Uh, three enemies to deal with. What? There we go. Alright, where am I supposed to take you, I wonder? Okay, that's blocked. Where am I supposed to take you anywhere? So there you go, that's the third enemy, and it's health! Good! Exactly what I needed. Exactly what I needed. Alright, so... We want to go... up first to get this one. We found an herb, good. Well, let's move you down there. Then we gotta go all the way back around. Because what we really want is that lower one, but that it's fine now. We've destroyed all the monsters, we just have to worry about some environmental, um, dangers. Like the roaming balls of light. But those can be easily dodged. Usually. <laughs> Sometimes I screw up. <laughs> there we go, good for the lower one this time. Well, let's get you out of the way. There we go. And there we have it, the fourth crystal ball. Now let us hopefully stay as Frieden as we go to fight this boss. Because Frieden is stronger. Much stronger. Problem is, we have to go like all the way back. There's no like shortcut right where you were. Uh, no, it's up this way. Yeah, to get back. Ow. Good news is we have like five extra lives. <laughs> That's always good. All right, and across we go. Where we use the last crystal ball. Now the path is open. Let's go ahead and save real quick. Or rather heal up our slightly uh, worse for wear body. Yeah, you can see our, our health pips have uh, reached one full bar. Now kind of Zelda style, they'll fill up a second bar. All right, so here we go. Ow. There we go. Gotta try to avoid the attacks. We've already lost like half of our health. Most of our health. And that's death. Damn. So it starts me right back here. At half health. When I think about it, that place seems familiar. 
So that was at half health, too. We'll give it another couple tries before we start using the herbs. Because I really would like to hold those in reserve if we can for later in the game. It would actually be kind of awesome if I could beat the game without using a single one, but probably not going to be, not going to happen. Alright, so let's get this started. There we go. Come on. There we go. Alright. Ow. All right, we've got him almost down to half health. Unfortunately, he is also... There we go. Ah, that was a good hit, though. Ow. There we go. Almost, almost. One more hit. Gotcha. You have defeated the huge demon. Look, a mystic statue. So there's our second one. All right. As we go crashing back to the Earth, Frieden returns to Will. A strange noise fills the air around you. From out of nowhere, you hear Neil's voice. Will, you're falling to the ground. Yes, I know that. Grab the airplane and we'll fly out of here. Uh, where? Where's the airplane? Oh, I gotta drop off here. So there we go. Oh no, we missed! Shoot, I dropped a contact! You what? Idiot! Will is doomed for sure now! Neil, it's still a little ways to the ground. Try again! Okay, I'll get him this time. Yeah, you better. There we go. Alright. So now we're all safely flying. That was a close one. Kara's sobbing, Eric sniffing. Don't cry, Will's been saved. Neil, you were great. This invention saved Will's life. Haha, <laughs> don't flatter me. You should try and locate the next ruins. I expect the shape of Cygnus is the same as the shape of Moo. Well, to the ocean. Mu lies somewhere in this ocean. Yeah, Mu is a mythical lost continent. There is no evidence that it ever existed, but it's kind of a mythical lost continent that uh, spans a large chunk of either the Atlantic? No, not the Atlantic, uh, of the Pacific Ocean. Either, either the Pacific or the Indian Ocean, I'm not sure which. I think it's the Pacific. I could be wrong, though. But uh, apparently... Yeah, we got out of the airplane in the nick of time. Yeah, the airplane went down. Neil's a good inventor, but it seems there's always something missing in, in his inventions. I guess nobody's perfect, including Neil. Thank God he thought to, you know, stash parachutes in there. Enough for everybody. The next thing he knew, Will was standing in a huge palace. I couldn't remember anything since my water landing. Is everyone safe? So yeah, this is the Seaside Palace. And there are three red jewels contained within chests here. Jewels 20 through 22. And there are monsters. Oh, except you just freeze in place. Interesting. You have any information for us, Gaia? Uh, apparently not. All right, let's go ahead and continue. All right, will you actually hurt me then, Mr. Monster? No, he will not. We can freeze him, but we can't do anything else. What? A sign of life from the right-hand room. Uh, well, let's go over there. It's Kara! Will? Where? Where is it? Yeah, she's... out of phase with us, I guess, or something? You found a red jewel, so there's the first of them. Alright, red jewels fly to jeweler gems in a single ray of light. So that was the 20th jewel. We've got two more to find. What? I can hear a soft voice from somewhere. This is the Palace of Vampires. The fountain in this palace produces demons continuously. Uh-oh, that's not good. But I guess because we're out of phase with everything, we're okay-ish? Yeah, these things can't hurt us right now. Let's go up here. 
What? A sign of life in the left-hand room. What's in here? Oh, it's Eric? What is this place? Dark and lonely? Mother, save me! Aww. Poor Eric. Alright, but over here, there was a chest, if I'm correct. Yes. So that is another red jewel. We're only missing one now from the Seaside Palace. Alright, well, let's go back down. And further down we go. What? I can hear a soft voice from somewhere. In the basement of the castle is a strange fountain. The stone is there. Hurry! Hurry! Well, we're heading there now, I guess. Want to make sure... We get everything, though, that we can. Oh, there's Lily. Wah! Hey, you scared me. I practically had a heart attack. I saw Eric in the other room, but something strange. His body is half transparent. I can see through it. And he seems to be unconscious, as if his spirit is lost. Let's stick together. We don't know what will happen. Alright, so Lily is in her flower form and is going to uh, stick around with us. I'll borrow Will's pocket for a while. Well, let's go. So yeah, she's going to stick with us in, in our pocket. That's fine. All right, so that will take us further down, but there was another there was another set of stairs up here. I think we're underwater too in the seaside palace. Yeah, right here's the stairs. Uh, but this is a dead end. Okay. So I guess we had the right way the first time. I uh, hear a soft voice from somewhere. The Purification Stone in the castle. So we've got to find that, I guess. Alright, down further we go. Alright, we've got enemies still throughout. Oh, and enemies I can actually hurt now. Okay. Uh, let's go up first. I don't like that. Can't seem to open the lid. Lily speaks from his pocket. Wait a minute, isn't there a hole in the coffin? I could get in through the hole. I better have a look. Alright, please do. Strange, there's a key fastened inside this coffin. No wonder it didn't open. So we got a key? What about this one? Yeah, what's in this one, Lily? Found a strange stone inside this coffin. Oh, is that the purification stone? Which we need. Yes, it is. The purification stone. In order to bring everybody back in phase with us. Uh, but not the key. I guess we didn't keep the key. Alright. Oh, what are you? Does that count as an enemy? I'm not sure if it does. I don't think so. Okay, we can go up. Uh, no, those do count as enemies. Okay, so that goes down. This goes up. Where we've got the final red jewel in the Seaside Palace. All right. We're almost halfway there. It says there's enemies, like, right here, but I'm not seeing them. Alright, over here we have Neil and Lance. Ugh, ugh. Yep. Both of them are groaning. Hello? Alright, can I maybe get the two that were up here now? Oh, they're all over the place. Okay. Interesting. Ow. But those guys count. Wait, did the monsters respawn? I think they did. I think until we deal with the, uh, the fountain, they're gonna keep respawning. What? It's a strange fountain. Could there be a connection between this and the rock? Yes, indeed there is. 
I think we gotta go around front, though. Oh, maybe not. I guess we get it from behind. Alright, so let's put that in the fountain. He raises the purification stone. The stone began to glow, then disappeared into the spring. So that purifies the water here, which will then uh, keep the monsters from respawning and should bring everybody back in phase, maybe? I don't know. But I don't really know what that did other than that. Oh, okay, hello. Saved! Thank you! I was brought to this place from Phrygia and changed to a demon. Lily speaks from his pocket. What? All the demons we saw before were human beings? Uh, well, that's not good. I know what it feels like to be uh, close to death. Death is terrifying. I wonder if the animals we eat feel the same way I felt right before death. Alright, so are our friends available now? They're missing. Okay. I wonder where they went. Well, only one way to find out. Hello? We were labor traders, arrested for the crime of buying and selling human beings. But the party officials sold us to a vampire. I can't believe it. What about you two? Well, well, this is the result of being tempted by a beautiful woman. A nice guy asked me, so I followed him. I don't trust men. They're right next to each other, too. Alright, but what about over here? Nope, nobody there. All right, let's go up this way then. Uh, we go straight up or... Yes, yes we do. Because that's where the coffins were, right? The man sleeping in this coffin is surely a vampire. They're plotting something. Uh, there's nobody sleeping in that coffin though. All right, nothing here, so let's go back. A vampire couple lives in the coffins. They bring people here, turn them into demons, and use them for labor. So basically, they're still slaves. This palace is connected to the land of Mu. The vampires are looking for something there. Yeah, probably one of the, the mystic statues. We were almost changed into demons. I'm afraid of what might have happened if you come later. Okay, so that's blocked off. Right, what about over here? This is where Kara was, wasn't it? She's gone now. I overheard the vampires say something like the mystic statue can be found in Mu. Yeah, we figured. Alright, if we go down here... This is where Eric was, right? Or no. I stole a key from the vampire woman. Here, take it. Oh, thank you. That will be very useful, I imagine. You received the key to the Seaside Palace. And you also saw nothing while that was happening. Uh, I already talked to you. Okay, up we go. Maybe it was over here that was where Kara was. On the top floor of the palace is a passageway leading to Mu. Let's go back this way then first. We can go up here. No, wait, do I want to go there? Not yet. I'm going to go here. Or maybe not. No, we do want to go the other way. Just in case there's more people to talk to. Always good to have more information. This is where Eric was, and of course he's gone now. And, aha, there are some people over here. What would we do now, deserted in the middle of the ocean? Maybe we could seize the palace and live there together. Yeah, maybe. Plenty of people here. At the least, that means you have food for a little while. You know, could resort to cannibalism. 
Hey, desperate times call for desperate measures. All right, so Kara was in here, yes, and she's not there now. All right, so this is the passage where we first came in, and now we can use this key here. Try using the key to the Seaside Palace. The key turns, making a strange sound. Lily spoke from his pocket. The Phantom Land of Mu lies ahead, where we will find Jewel 23. Lily speaks from his pocket. A passageway. I wonder if it goes clear to Mu. Uh, didn't you just say that Mu lies ahead? Of course it does. All right. Lily and I set foot on Mu. They will probably welcome us after waking from a sleep of thousands of years. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, remember, Mu was originally underwater. They kind of uh, mixed, you know, it with the uh, the Legend of Atlantis here. But now we have these rock monsters to deal with, too. Problem is, they fall asleep pretty quickly if you don't stay close. And they're strong. There we go. Alright, let's stay close here. Oh, come on, wake up. Thank you. So as you may imagine, this land is just barely peeking above the water. And we're going to raise it even further. Now we're going to lower the water level by raising the land even higher up. Come on. Ow. Ow, that hurts. Shit, and we just died. Well, there goes our life. I'm sometimes aware of having fallen in a place I know. Must have been a nightmare. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, oh yeah, we can't go this way yet. Because there's water everywhere. The good news is the monsters we've already defeated stay defeated. Dark Souls, this is not. <laughs> Bad news is these guys are back at full health. There we go. There we go, gotcha. Alright, off to the next screen. So yeah, there was, you know, we defeated all the enemies we could, but there was no... Oh shit. How the hell did we get that low on health already? But yeah, there was no, um... Uh, jewel. No reward for defeating all the monsters, because there's still more monsters to find. Come on. Ah, damn it. Gotcha. Oh, shit. Ah, fuck. He was too far away. Alright, we do have this chest here. So let's deal with you first. There we go. There we go. Got you. All right, it's empty. Uh-oh, that's not good. No, but that's actually teaching you something important. All right, aha. It's like you're around here somewhere. I think he might always appear behind you. Where did, ah, there you are. Maybe he doesn't always appear behind you. I don't know. I thought he did, but then he didn't that last time. we go. So close. There we go. Gotcha. I'm not quite sure what these are for just yet. So we're going to ignore you for now. There we go. Alright, this is going to open up the path a bit. Thank you. Alright. And this is open here. They got two of these guys to deal with now. Now, all right. Oh shit, I am dead. <laughs> we could really use Freed in here right now, but uh, that ain't happening. Oh, this is not good. We only have like one life left. 
really, really not good. All right, bat you out of the way. Oh, you bounce me back too. That's what you're for. Okay. We're not there yet. You're not very useful as of yet. There we go, got you. All right, so let's go on to the next screen where we've got these spikes to deal with. There we go. All right, so what is this? This is the Room of Hope. And there's nothing there. Huh. I guess we'll be back eventually? Oh, you. Come on. Hey, one more hit. Gotcha. Ah, damn it. Oh, and I can move you this way. Good. Good, good, good. All right. Um, which way, which way? There we go. Okay. You guys are good. Uh, no, let's go back the other way. Because there was one of those rock monsters down here. Yeah, there you are. Oh, there's multiple rock monsters. That's just lovely. Ow. Oh, damn, that almost killed us. There we go, perfect. We are so about to die. There we go. All right, good, good, good. Deal with all of you. All right, so that brings us around and back to here. Oh, crap. Oh, fur. And there we went. Of course we did. Now if we die, it might be game over. We have to be very, very careful. Careful. We may have to use an herb or even retreat. You need to die already. Come on. There we go. <laughs> well, at least that's some health. There we go. Come on. Ow. I always use more health, though. Alright, another chest that's empty. How many of these empty chests are there? Alright. But the thing is, that's supposed to teach you about these guys. There we go. We found the Statue of Hope. Yeah, the Statue of Hope. Was there a room with the same name? Yes, there is. We'll, we'll backtrack there in a second. So yeah, those empty chests are there to teach you that, <coughs> excuse me, that there's something where uh, two statues are looking, yeah, you know, where their their gazes combine. At least speaks from his pocket. Will, I've been thinking. It appears as if the treasure chest is in the exact spot where the line of vision between both the statues cross. I wonder if this is supposed to mean something. Maybe not? No, nope, that's exactly what it means. We already figured that out, Lily. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Oh, how do I get you? Oh, I can just push you out of the way. There we go. All right, so up on the altar here, we're going to place the Statue of Hope. He raises the Statue of Hope. A strange whisper is heard from somewhere. I don't think these guys are enemies, but I could be wrong. 
because that's an enemy sprite. The sun god, Rama. The ocean holds a power. Interesting. So there we go. And with this, the water should be lower. Ah, there's less water than before. It looks like we can now ex explore new areas. Yes, we can. <laughs>